pictured a millstone. These, these are very large, and they're very heavy and very effective at their, at their crushing uh, job. So what happens is you pick the olives, you throw them in this stone basin that you can see here, and then you have an animal hooked up to this pole or servants or members of your family, whoever you can, can get to push this, this pole in a circle and just walk in a circle, and that giant millstone will just sit there and, and crush all of those olives that are in that, this basin, leaving it with this mash. It's this mixture of, of skin and pulp and the pits, the stone pits that have been kind of crushed, pulverized, combined with the water and the oil. And then, phase two, you come and you scoop this out, you put it into to wicker baskets. It's a form of a mesh bag, and then you put it in one of these presses. There's a couple types, but you have a, a screw press where you can put enormous pressure and keep twisting that screw to make it press harder and harder on the olives. So you'll notice that as that pressure weighs down on, on those bags or those, the, the burlap uh, sacks that, that contain this mash, out oozes the oil, the water, and the more runny pulp. And then it drips down this front edge to be kind of collected in the first first bin to separate out the pulp. So years ago, I was a student at the Brigham Young University Jerusalem Center, and they have outside in the garden area, they have replica, uh, a place to crush and press olives. I was there in the autumn time, so we harvested olives, and we crushed them, and then we put them into a press, one of the, one of the actually the Byzantine presses from the, um, after the time of Jesus. And I came walking up a staircase where this was happening, and I remember just being shocked, almost lost my breath and fainted because when I saw the oil pouring out, it was blood red and it was pouring over this beautiful white Jerusalem limestone. And it was shocking to me. I had always associated olive oil with this beautiful golden hue. I'd seen olive oil used in priesthood blessings. I had used it. So I was shocked. Like, I, at my first, my immediate thought was, somebody's bleeding. I mean, I thought that without even thinking. It was just like the most um, sub subconscious thing. And then I realized, no, it's the olive oil. And what was so impressive to me was suddenly I came to understand why olives and olive oil are such a powerful symbol for the atonement of Jesus Christ. It's because, of, among other things, when they are pressed with extreme pressure, they bleed out from the pores, and the olive oil is looks like blood. 